Liverpool and Chelsea share points at Anfield. This Liverpool and Chelsea are not what they used to be. Both teams that played against each other several times last season and had a good campaign, can't find their feet in the 22-23rds and it has shown in this match, in which both teams haven't been able to find their best version and haven't scored any goals. Nobody leaves Anfield satisfied. Both Liverpool and Chelsea needed the three points to try to get closer to the Champions League places. In a first half in which neither side had clear control, Chelsea created more chances and even took the lead in the fourth minute, but Havertz's goal was disallowed by the VAR for offside by Thiago Silva. Although Liverpool stepped up a gear in the second half and were better than Chelsea, the Reds and the Blues failed to beat the opposing goalkeeper. A point apiece leaves both clubs nine points adrift of the Champions League places, and there was little to suggest either can quickly rekindle their former glories to make a charge up the table. Chelsea had a goal scored by Kai Havertz ruled out for offside early on, and there were promising flashes from new 100 million signing Mikhailo Mudrik off the bench. But the Blues remain in 10th without an away league win since October. Liverpool edge up to 8th, above Brentford on goal difference. Jurgen Klopp described Liverpool's 3-0 defeat to Brighton last weekend as the worst performance of his eight years at Anfield and, in the 1,000th game of his managerial career, made sweeping changes with Fabinho, Jordan Henderson and Trent Alexander-Arnold among those left on the bench. The change in personnel did little to ignite a drastically improved performance as the Reds were penned back in the first 45 minutes by a similarly out-of-sorts Chelsea. Graham Potter's men had the ball in the net after just three minutes when Havertz slotted in after Thiago Silva hit the post from a corner. However, the German was ruled offside after a VAR review. Cody Gakpo twice blazed over with Liverpool's two best sights of goal before the break, but it was the visitors who came closest to breaking the deadlock when Benoit Badiachal's header was well saved by Alison Becker from another dangerous set-piece. Klopp's half-time team talk had the desired impact as the home side came out on the front foot early in the second period. Yet they failed to create a clear-cut chance as Gakpo and Naby Keita saw shots blocked inside the area. Mudrik was made to wait for his debut, but the Ukrainian's introduction 10 minutes into the second half sparked Chelsea into life as he fired into the side netting after some quick footwork. Darwin Nunez's arrival off the bench had a similar impact on the Liverpool attack, but the Uruguayan also failed to find a way through. After a rampaging run, Nunez's shot lacked the power to beat Kepa Ariza Balaga before he teed up Alexander-Arnold to slice Liverpool's best chance of the game wide. After stalemates in both last season's league and FA Cup finals, which Liverpool won on penalties, a third consecutive meeting between the sides ended goalless.